people of YouTube, this is Track 6606 and today, uh, once again, I got another aircraft here. Uh, this is one of many that I have been re recently purchased or traded. Um, first, before I get into this, uh, I want to apologize for um, I haven't posted any videos in quite a long time. haven't done much simulator videos and uh, I just haven't done any videos, period. I mean, it's been a while. I've mean, you know, been showing a few small videos here and there, but nothing really big. So I apologize for that. There's a lot of a lot of things have been going on, you know, just you know, just a craziness um, here, and also weather has been pretty brutal. It's it's uh, well, March 25th right now, and it's snowing right outside. So uh, yeah, um, so I want to apologize for that. The first thing I want to say, but um, I'm hoping to get back in the swing of things. I got a few more request videos on, on the simulators with some challenge videos, so I hope to get back into that. But uh, also some of, some of my uh, real time, real flight videos, like real flight videos. Um, I should be doing more of those. You should definitely see a lot more of those, and hopefully soon of this. Uh, this right here, guys, I just picked it up a few days ago. It's an Align T Rex 600. This is Nitro. This is Nitro. This is my first Nitro helicopter. Um, it's my fourth helicopter. However, I've only flown one out of the four because the other three, this one included, I actually picked up in the last ten, ten days. So um, I got, it's got a cover on it. This is a 600 size, so I'm going to take the cover off and show you the. The amazing detail of this body right here. It's a beautiful body there. Check that out. So it is definitely a beautiful helicopter, guys. Uh, definitely amazing. And uh, this, you know, this is just the largest helicopter I've owned. Um, the largest helicopter I've, you know, I've actually had in this house. So uh, yes, um, it's it's definitely a um, eye catcher, an eye opener. That is just an amazing helicopter. Amazing piece of machinery right here. And I, I actually own it, so that's what's really exciting. I actually, I own, I finally own a helicopter this size. So uh, a few things I just want to show you guys about it. I'm still learning with helicopters. I've only been in helicopters about um, about a year and a half. Owned, I've actually owned a helicopter, a real helicopter, almost a year. Next month in April will be a year since I bought my very first helicopter. So I'm still new with them, but I have, um, I have done a lot more flying with helicopters on the simulator and uh, in real life as well. So. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely ready for a, a large-scale helicopter. Um, still a lot, a lot to learn. There's still a lot of things that I'm still learning that you got to do with the with the whole setup and the um, the whole you know just basically your your pre-check flight you know standards. I'm still you know there's still things you know what you got to check for and the names of certain things. I'm still learning that. But the basics, you know, basic flying, basic 3D flying, inverted flight. I pretty much um, I've got a lot of that taken care of. Um, and also maintaining and running, I've got a lot of that under my belt. So, yes, I, I'm, not, I'm still not, I'm not a newbie when it comes to something like this. I am, I am experienced. Um, not the best, but I, I do have some experience. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you a few things about this helicopter right here. Uh, this is an older version. This isn't one of the newer versions. Uh, this version right here used to be Flybar, and um, it, it has been upgraded to Flybarless. This helicopter, I mean, it's not that old at all. I mean, the, the kit's, you know, the kit, I mean, it's probably about, I want to say at least three years old. Um, I actually purchased this off of a guy in, off of Craigslist um, recently, uh, and um, it's just a beautiful helicopter. Uh, the guy was getting out of his hobby. Uh, he had uh, this helicopter here, six gallons of brand new nitro fuel, 30%, um, and a set of rotors, crap load of parts, just probably five or six hundred dollars in brand new parts. Uh, steady, vertical and horizontal stabilizers, I'll be around, vertical, horizontal, dang gum it, vertical, horizontal, I was right, uh, tail rotors, you know, there's like pack, you know, there's like six packs of, of those, four packs of these, uh, two brand new booms, set of extra rotors, you know, these, these stabilizers here, landing, you know, landing skids, an extra body, uh, oh, there's just tons of carbon fiber upgrades, this helicopter alone, uh, just this helicopter, what you see right here, that has got to be these two thousand dollars into this thing right here, and um, so I got this helicopter, even a JR transmit nine channel transmitter. It is an older DSM two transmitter, but it's still um, a JR. Got the case, got the chargers, um, two thunder char like um, two thunder uh, lipo chargers. One has the f you know, is is four charger um, four battery charger. Um, just a whole crowd of stuff. A lot of lipo batteries. Uh, tons of parts for this thing, like I said. Um, even the F-27 Q Striker, the larger one, and a, um, a, uh, a 3D foam plane that um, has LED lights all over it, which I, I was actually also flying at night. Uh, still a whole crowd of little parts that I haven't even mentioned, but I got everything for $800. 
and this thing alone I could sell for probably $1,500 if I wanted to. But I mean, I got a heck of a deal, got some great stuff. I've got all in all, he probably has close to $3,500 in everything, and I bought it all for $800. So let me go ahead and show you guys the inside of this helicopter real quick. Okay, here, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the body off. This is a, an amazing body. Here's a brand new body. This body, I've seen them on eBay, go for 100 bucks a piece. So this isn't something cheap. This is a very expensive body here. Very nice. I love the detail on it, the painting and everything. So right here, there's your insides, guys. There, there's everything in here. And they, they, this isn't just cheap stuff right here. Okay, so what you got here is, of course, you got your, your, your basic, your, your fuel tank engine, you know, basic stuff right here. Uh, backup tank. Um, you know, I, I, I forgot what this is mainly for. He said something about producing the air bubbles when you flip it inverted. I'm not too sure. I'm, again, I'm still learning with that. With nitros included, especially, you know, satellite receiver here. Receivers up here, is a, it's a JR, the ASM2. Uh, it's, a, it's a JR R921, 2.4 gigahertz receiver. 2S Lightweight battery pack right here. Um, and then, of course, you've got your servo here. This is your rudder, this is your rudder servo. This is for the tail. Um, this is for your um, for your main rotor your main rotor system right here 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 and then another one in the back on this side um, and the gyros right up here I'll give that I'll get you that in a second uh, and of course your your main gear your main shaft and everything all that stuff you know you guys know the basics uh, ignition here um, everything it's not you know it's not like those uh, other ones where you have a glow you have like a glow plug lead right there and you just put the glow plug on that little lead which will ignite the ignition and ignite the the glow plug, you know, you hit a button right here and it ignites the, um, it's an it's a electronic ignition for the engine and then you just take your starter and start it up. So it's a very nice, very well upgraded. Uh, there is a lot of upgrade parts here, guys. I mean, you can't really see them that much, but even the the, 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 mat, the mounts for the uh, servos are all carbon fiber. Uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of aluminum and carbon fiber upgrades and a whole bunch of aluminum and carbon fiber up, um, parts that are, that are still, uh, you know, brand new in the package. Um, as well as extra uh, uh, skids and all that stuff. So um, let me uh, take the camera off the, the tripod and I'm going to sh just show you, get over an overview of everything that's on this helicopter. Okay, guys. Yeah, so here we go. There's your, uh, there's the the, uh, the 921 2.4 uh, giga, uh, 2.4 uh, JR receiver right there. The satellite's right there, just in case we couldn't see it. There's a satellite. There's the the server right there for. Uh, for the rotor as for the rotor as well, another one right there. I believe they're all the same. I believe you know they're all aligned servos. They're all aligned. I believe they're all the same there, except for the tail, which is somewhere right. I can't find it. I cannot find. It. Oh, there it is, right there. That's the one I was talking about there. This the, here is this one's of course bigger. You know you always want to have a more powerful uh, servo for the tail. Now here's the gyro guys. If you don't recognize the color, then let me just turn this around there. There you go, guys. It's a beast. It's a beast X gyro. That gyro right there is 200 bu bucks. That's a brand new gyro he just installed recently, and I was pretty surprised by that. I was hoping I was I was just guessing a 3GX. No, he has he has the the, the beast X in it. So um, there's a churn pipe right there. Uh, I like I like this little rubber thing right here. Just uh, you know prevent from any leakage from there. I do I put a piece of styrofoam or not styrofoam a sponge in my truck my nitro truck exhaust. Um, all right, so yeah, like these are upgraded. These are aluminum. Um, every, there's a whole bunch of aluminum parts in here. Here's your, uh, go, you know, the engine governor right here. And then here's the engine itself. Oops, sorry, there it is. There's the engine itself. It's a uh, 55 size, which this this helicopter only requires a 50, so this is a 55. And it's a uh, it's an OS. It's an OS Max HZ 55. That engine is very it's not a, it's not a cheap engine, guys. It's a very high dollar engine. All right. The rotors, their edge, and of course they're backwards, not backwards, just cameras. So yeah, their edge, those are high dollar carbon fiber rotors, $100 brand new, and there is no chips, cracks, or anything on that thing, on, the, on, those, on those rotors. It's in great shape. So everything here, guys, it is just an amazing helicopter, and I cannot wait to fly this thing. All right, let me put the camera back on the um, tripod, and then I'll show you a few more things. All right, guys, so um, I'm just going to... So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the uh, this guy this guy right here and just extend the, the tail the main rotors here. Uh, this these rotors I believe are 610 millimeters. I'm not certain, but uh, the wingspan uh, the wingspan of this helicopter. Let me make sure these are running properly. Uh, I believe is uh, 
pretty large. Um, I can't remember, guys. I, I think it's, uh, what is it, like 1,200 millimeters, something like that, maybe larger. I, I mean, I, it looks like it's a bit of, of, of uh, 1,200 millimeters. Um, so, yeah, it seems pretty large. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> these are very nice rotors. I mean, it's, it's all well lubricated. This thing will just rotate. And, guys, I mean, here's, um, I, I don't have it all with me right now. I, have the radio, I don't know, have the radio with me. I don't have time to get it, but I'll show you probably in another video one day, is I actually had the radio, and I was just testing out the servos just by reaming it going around in a circle with the sticks, and just by messing with the swash plate and everything, I actually had the rotor spin manually. I actually had them spinning probably about that speed, and they were, it was just constantly doing that. Just, just by moving with the sticks, that rotor would just continue to spin. I don't know if the larger helicopters do that, or is this thing just well lubricated? Because it is, it is well lubricated, guys. So um, it is, just, it's just amazing, guys. I mean, pretty much. I mean, everything else included. But I mean, you know, eight hundred dollars for even just for this is a heck of a deal, guys. This is just an amazing helicopter. I cannot wait to fly this. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, you can see the green vertical and horizontal uh, stabilizers here. The, uh, these are actually for the six hundred, for the seven hundred size. He's got 700 and 600 size uh, vertical and horizontals, um, carbon fiber. He's got whole packs of them, the guy included. Uh, the reason why he upgraded them is so the tail rotor doesn't you know, uh, hit the ground as much, which is a very smart move. Like I, I should do that with my Blade 300X and upgrade to uh, 400. That's probably what I'm going to do there. So, jeez, um, guys, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I think I just covered about every, everything basic about this helicopter here. This is my new bird. As one of many, um, I'll show you guys a whole bunch of my other birds uh, coming up. Uh, but real quick, I'm not sure if I got, if I mentioned anything about my my Blade 300X, but this is it, guys. So here is a comparison: my Blade 300X, my very first helicopter, and now my new 600. So yeah, I mean this right here, I'm still repairing. I did crash it a, a while ago, and I'm just get, fixing it up. But yeah, there's my Blade 300X. This is my Blade 600. So, wait, not 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 Blade. 600 T-Rex Nitro uh, it's a Nitro T-Rex and I might even convert it to electric so uh, I, think that, I think that wraps it up um, one more mention is um, if you guys are local if you're local if you're watching this you're local in the, in the Fredericksburg or Virginia area if you guys know where Mechanicsville is and you're familiar with their swap meet um, they are the Mechanicsville swap uh, the swap meet is coming up. Hanover um, RC Club is hosting the swap meet. I'm going there. I'm going to have three tables set up with full of RC stuff. I will have this helicopter there. Do, um, so uh, mainly for display, I will have this helicopter there. I'll even have my 300 for this, mainly for display. However, if you guys get, if you guys give me a good enough offer, hell, I'll probably sell it or trade it. So, um, I, but I really don't want to, but only if the offer is good enough. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check out, if you guys are local to the area and you guys want to um, go to the swap meet, it's going to be pretty big, it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, just I'm going to have three tables set up of RC truck, car, helicopter, truck, uh, or plane. I'm going to have a whole bunch of um, RC stuff. And uh, just look for me if you guys do decide to go. Uh, look for me, I'm going to have my 29-inch flat, my flat screen TV set up. I'm going to have my simulator poked up to it. So I'll be flying the simulator, showing some simulator videos, and also having if anybody wants to try the simulator, you guys are welcome to. Uh, so that's how you can tell if that's my table. So check it out. Uh, check out for the 600 right here, green body, 300X, uh, as well as a 450 Copter X and, a, and possibly a 550 Swift. Um, the 550 I am selling or trading if I still have it available. So that's about it, guys. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm sorry that it's gotten long. So uh, I think that's about it. This is my new uh, 600 uh, T-Rex, and my first T-Rex, and that's about it, guys. Um, stay tuned for some simulator videos because they are coming your way. Sorry for the delay. Well, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Trek 6606 saying good day and good night.